Hello and welcome to the Easy Roulette tutorial. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to set up the EasyFox server and the Unity client projects. So without further ado, let's get started. The easiest way to get started with the EasyFox server is to use our provided Marvin archetype. You can check it out in our GitHub repository, youngmonkeys slash EasyFox server archetype. And if you find this repo useful, please give it a star. And in this tutorial, I'll be using the version 1.1.8, which is the latest version so far. And okay, let's open up uh, an IDE. I'm using the IntelliJ IDEA, but you can use NetBean or Eclipse if you like. And to begin, let's click on the create new project and then select the Marvin in the left menu and let's enable create from archetype and then click on add archetype from here you can add the group ID you can check it out here okay group ID com.tvd12 artifact ID easy fox server archetype and the version 1.1.8 Okay, and after that, I can choose the Easy Fox Server Archetype 1.1.8 from the list. And click on Next button. Group ID now is my own group ID. I'll call it R. Young Monkey. And Artifact ID, I'll call it Easy Roulette. Next. And let's leave all these values as this defaults next easy roulette okay so i'll choose a directory for it let's create a new folder namely server and i'll place my um, my server project inside this folder Okay, click on finish. Okay, here we go. So, build success. Okay, so our server is now ready to use. Let's click on the startup submodel and then open up the application startup.java but for now my IDE hasn't recognized my my uh, root root like sausage root so I need to mark directory as sausage root and then re-import the Marvin Okay, all the arrows have gone and so now I can run the application startup. So I have successfully run the EasyFox server and now let's create the Unity client project. Let's open the Unity Hub and click on New button. Let's select 2D because our Easy Roulette is a 2D game. And I'll give it the Unity Client name. And I'll select the Easy Roulette as root folder. Unity Client, okay. Click Create. Okay, we now can run the sample scene provided by the Unity. Okay, there's no error, which is good. Okay, let's create some template folders for my Unity client. So the first folder will be static 
access and the second one will be scripts which contains all my c -sharp scripts and the third one will be extension and i can drag the scenes to my static access and for the extensions i need a easyfox c -sharp client edk so that i can use that edk to connect to my easyfox server and you can check it out in our github repository youngmonkeys slash easyfox server c -sharp client and don't forget to give us a star okay let's copy the https con url from here okay so now i'm located at the easy roulette folder so it has the server and unity client folders and let's use the git init to init a git um, in our project and now I can move to the unity client and then move to the access and then move to the extension folder from here I can use git submodule add and I can add the link I copy from here it's just that simple and now let's go back to my unity to automatic import all the scripts from the C sharp SDK okay there is no errors with um, our SDK which is good there are some warnings but you can clear them and we can try to create click on the play button and there is no error which is good okay that's all i want to show you today hopefully you enjoy watching my video see you in the next tutorial cheers